I understand that Three Sisters Garden has a really interesting history, and it's not about sisters at all. What's it all about? Well, Native Americans used to use uh, use the Three Sisters as a planting method. So corn, beans, and squash are planted together. Corn acts as a trellis. Yeah. Beans provide nu nu nutrient and run up the corn, and the squash shades the ground and holds moisture and prevents other weeds. So the three work together really, really well. You also sell this mixture, mm -hmm. right? Which is kind of an interesting pea shoot and what else? There are a couple of kinds of radishes, a couple of different mustards, fennel, carrot, shungiku, which is a, a Japanese chrysanthemum that's edible, kohlrabi, probably a couple other things that aren't coming to mind right this second. Chef Paul, what on earth will you do with this? Chef Paul, you are chef owner of V, Perennial Verant, and soon Jay Parker. But you have also been one of the first proponents of farm to table in this city. We are looking forward to what you're going to do with this uh, from one of your preferred farmers. And what is this from Three Sisters? There's some radish in here. This looks like some kind of a little micro herb. Maybe this is dill. Yeah, that's dill. I'm going to be boring. It's boring only because it's kind of a signature dish that we do here at the at the restaurant. And what would that be? We make a, a risotto rice out of out of kind of carnaroli rice. It's finished with butter, the parmesan, and then we fold in a ton of cheese curds and we put weights on it and it sets up and it gets real firm oh and we, we pan fry it. That's Sounds been rich and lovely. Well it's it's been an item that we've had on the menu since since day one and it's always been garnished with Tracy's pea shoots. All right, so let's try it. So we're out. just going to mix it up, and we'll use we'll use the the mix that she has here. Terrific. And then we have right now currently we have a smoked spring onion vinaigrette. Is that in your new book? Yes, yeah. yes, I do have a new book. It's the Preservation Lucky Kitchen. Day. All right, so I'll get get okay. working, get going. Yeah. All right. Okay, we have the rice flour, which we're gonna we're gonna coat, and then we have the actual rice cake here. You can see. See the all the all right the different there. all the different curds and stuff that are in there. Okay. Take off any excess. All right. All right. So Paul, you're actually so frying this in clarified butter, but you could use another yes, fat. That's correct. Yeah, you could. I mean, you could really substitute that for any sort of high temperature cooking oil. You know, or if you were feeling frisky, you could use like duck fat or pork fat well, or decadent. suet or something like that. Yeah. I, I like I like the, the aspect of the clarified butter because I, I, I think it does lend to a nice kind of a golden brown crust on the on the on the rice cake. We're gonna brown all four sides. So we have her lovely mix of greens and there's uh, there were some flowers in there too that I saw. So we take a little bit of our pickled summer beans and then we take a little bit of our Smoked spring onions, okay, and then some olive oil, a little salt, and a little pepper. And that's our salad. Easy. I think this will be nice with this new mix because it's got like some other things going on there. And then I'm going to season it with just a little bit of salt, okay, down on the plate. All right. Okay. And then the rest we use for garnish. So I'm looking at these beans, and I really enjoy what you're doing with this book. Oh, you want to try uh, the introduction is capturing the year in a jar, which I yes. thought was really such a terrific way of introducing what this book is all about. So you really are getting to be known for canning, because I know you've enjoyed it for a long time. We, we're into it, you know, and it's the book. I mean, the, what's 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 cool about the book? It's got about 70 recipes for you know canned items, but but it's then the other half of the book is what to what to do with that, and it's and I and I and I it, it, it does, and I and I kind of feel like it's a little bit of kind of the signature style that we do both here at V, as far as like what do you do with like the pickled beans, other than just like adding adding it on the plate or as a garnish, you know, I mean, we're, we're cooking things, You're we're creating dishes Yeah, we're them. taking like, you know, pickled fennel and we're glazing it, you know, for fish or something. Look at that, so it's like, just like holds together. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's try. Yeah, it's so rich I, and creamy. I, I can see why this is your most popular signature dish. Congratulations on your book. Thank you, Sharon.